In an age where environmental awareness and technological innovation are converging to redefine the landscape of mobility, one figure has emerged as a disruptive force in the world of electric vehicles, Maxwell Chikumbutso. This Zimbabwean inventor, already known for his pioneering efforts in energy systems, is now gaining worldwide attention for what could be one of the most consequential breakthroughs in transportation a self-powered electric vehicle. Unlike traditional EVs that rely heavily on external charging infrastructure powered primarily by fossil fuel-based grids, Chikumbutso's innovation proposes an entirely self-sustaining energy model. His vehicle, if proven successful, could fundamentally reshape our understanding of energy consumption in mobility. The test of this vehicle's capabilities is as ambitious as the idea itself, a 7,500-kilometer journey from Zimbabwe to Cairo. Should this journey be completed without external recharging, it would represent not just a technological triumph, but a paradigm shift in sustainable transport. This extensive narrative delves into the mechanics of the vehicle, the underlying scientific principles, the far-reaching implications for the global automotive industry, and the potential societal and regulatory challenges that may follow. At the heart of this extraordinary development lies a novel approach to energy generation. Chikambutso's self-powered electric vehicle doesn't simply store electricity in batteries for later use. It generates energy in real time, harnessing ambient electromagnetic fields and converting them into usable electricity. This is facilitated through an advanced energy conversion device embedded within the vehicle. The system reportedly leverages electromagnetic induction to power the motor while simultaneously regenerating energy as the car moves. Such an approach challenges the deeply entrenched notion that electric vehicles must depend on large battery banks and fixed charging stations. The propulsion system is designed to be so efficient that the energy used during movement is offset, or even surpassed, by the energy generated, forming what could be described as a closed-loop energy system. While the theory of perpetual motion has long been dismissed as scientifically untenable, Chikambutso's implementation doesn't claim to violate the laws of physics. Instead, it operates on the principle of continual energy harvesting, capturing ambient energies that are usually wasted or ignored. This technology isn't just an advancement in automotive engineering. It's a statement. It pushes back against the prevailing reliance on grid-based energy supply and calls into question the massive infrastructure investments currently being made to support conventional electric vehicle networks. If a car can generate its own energy while driving, what happens to the need for public charging stations? What becomes of the billions of dollars being poured into battery research and development? Chikumbutso's invention forces these questions to the forefront, potentially making many current EV strategies obsolete before they fully mature. To demonstrate the feasibility of this self-sustaining system, Chikumbutso has proposed an extraordinary, real-world test, a cross-continental journey from Harare, Zimbabwe, to Cairo, Egypt. Spanning more than 7,500 kilometers and traversing diverse terrains, climates, and road conditions, this journey is not just a showcase, but a scientific and technological trial by fire. The vehicle will be tested in a variety of real-world situations, from the heat of the Sahara Desert to the unpredictable road conditions in rural Africa, from uphill mountain climbs to congested city traffic. Each of these scenarios presents a unique challenge to the energy conversion and propulsion system. If the vehicle succeeds in completing the route without requiring any external recharge, it would serve as irrefutable evidence that self-powered transportation is not just a fantasy or a theoretical concept, but a present-day reality. But the implications of this technology extend far beyond a single successful journey. Should the self-powered vehicle perform as anticipated, it could trigger a seismic shift across the entire automotive industry. One of the most immediate benefits would be the elimination of reliance on fossil fuels.
Current EVs, although marketed as environmentally friendly, still depend largely on electricity generated from coal, natural gas, and other non-renewable sources. Chikumbutso's model bypasses this problem entirely by eliminating the need for grid-based charging. This leap could dramatically reduce the carbon footprint of personal and commercial transportation, offering a practical pathway toward achieving global emissions targets. For countries struggling with unreliable or limited electricity infrastructure, particularly in Africa, South Asia, and parts of Latin America, this innovation could offer a self-contained solution, empowering mobility without the need for extensive energy grids. Moreover, the success of such technology could render existing EV charging infrastructure redundant. If vehicles can generate and store their own energy during operation, then the global race to install charging stations in every urban and rural corner might prove to be an unnecessary detour. The implications for automotive manufacturing are equally transformative. Traditional electric vehicles rely on costly, resource-intensive lithium-ion batteries that degrade over time and present environmental challenges in both mining and disposal. Chikum Butso's design, which minimizes the need for large battery packs by emphasizing real-time energy conversion, could lower manufacturing costs significantly. These savings could, in turn, be passed on to consumers, making sustainable transportation accessible to a much broader demographic. The ripple effects of this breakthrough might not be confined to the automotive sector. If successfully implemented, the principles underlying this vehicle could catalyze innovations in other areas of energy generation and storage. Imagine drones that never need to land to recharge. Smartphones powered by ambient energy or rural. Homes in remote locations generating electricity without solar panels or generators. The self-powered vehicle represents not only a new kind of machine, but a new philosophy. One that prioritizes independence from traditional energy infrastructures and opens up new realms of possibility for technological self-sufficiency. However, with great promise comes great scrutiny. The road to mainstream adoption of Chikumbutso's invention will be fraught with technical, regulatory, and societal challenges. For starters, the scientific community and the broader public remain skeptical of any claims that seem to touch upon the concept of perpetual motion. While Chikumbutso's design does not technically violate the laws of thermodynamics because it relies on energy harvesting rather than creation, the line between innovative science and pseudoscience is often drawn subjectively, proving that the technology works consistently and reliably under a wide range of real-world conditions is the first and most urgent hurdle. A single test drive, no matter how impressive, may not be enough to silence critics or convince regulatory agencies. Then there's the issue of scalability. Developing a prototype is one thing, Mass-producing a fleet of vehicles that incorporate such sophisticated and possibly delicate energy systems is another challenge entirely. Manufacturing, supply chain logistics, quality control, and cost efficiency all become exponentially more complex as production scales up. Ensuring that every vehicle functions as reliably as the original prototype will require rigorous testing and potentially years of refinement. Add to this the need for rigorous safety testing and compliance with international automotive standards, and it becomes clear that the journey from concept to consumer adoption is long and arduous. Regulatory barriers also loom large. Most national and international road safety and emission standards are built around traditional internal combustion engines and grid-charged electric vehicles. Introducing a new class of vehicle, one that generates its own energy on the move, may require a complete overhaul of current regulations. There will be questions about electromagnetic emissions, compatibility with existing road safety norms, and even patent disputes over the proprietary energy system. Governments, particularly those with deep investments in conventional energy, infrastructures, may also be slow to support a technology that threatens existing economic models. Public perception will play a pivotal role in the adoption of self-powered vehicles.
Convincing the average consumer to trust a radically new technology, especially one that claims to offer free or self-sustaining energy, will require an unprecedented marketing and education effort. People tend to be wary of things that sound too good to be true, particularly when it comes to something as critical as their primary mode of transportation. Demonstrating reliability, safety, and cost-effectiveness over time will be crucial to earning consumer trust. Yet despite these formidable challenges, the potential rewards are equally immense. Maxwell Chikumbuzo's self-powered electric vehicle could herald the dawn of a new era, one where human mobility is not just efficient and electric, but truly sustainable and independent. The 7,500-kilometer journey from Zimbabwe to Cairo could go down in history as more than a demonstration. It could become the starting point of a revolution in how the world thinks about transportation, energy, and the environment. If Chikumbuzo succeeds in proving the real-world viability of his invention, the very fabric of the automotive world may begin to unravel and re-knit itself around a bold new vision one in which vehicles are no longer tethered to grids, charging, stations, or fossil fuel economies. In the years to come, should this technology mature and overcome its current barriers, we may see a future where self-powered EVs dominate the roads. These vehicles would not only offer a compelling alternative, to gas-powered and conventionally electric cars, but could redefine personal and public transport across the globe. The societal implications, greater energy independence, lower transportation costs, reduced pollution, are staggering. More than just a new type of car, Chikumbuzo's invention may well be the keystone to a more sustainable and equitable world. And if the ambitious road to Cairo ends in success, it might also be the first mile of a much longer journey toward a cleaner, freer future.